Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Synth Stuff. Tame Impala is one of my favorite bands, not as much as Underworld, but still one of my favorites. And if you know Tame Impala, and if you don't, why not? Go listen to some Tame Impala. Anyway, if you know Tame Impala, you know this song. That song is really based around this sound in the chorus. I'm going to show you how to make that sound using the ANX engine on the Montage M7, but you can do it in any analog or virtual analog synthesizer that has oscillator sync. Coming up. Oscillator sync is where you have an oscillator that is playing a specific pitch and you have a second oscillator at a different pitch. And when the second oscillator reaches the end of its wave cycle, it resets like it normally does, but it also forces the first one to reset. The thing is, the first oscillator is still playing a note, but it's being affected by a different pitch. So you still hear the first note, but you can also hear the pitch influence of that second oscillator. It's hard to describe, but if you have a look at the oscilloscope on the screen of the montage as I do it, you'll, you can see... So you can see there's a square wave that is getting pitched up and down. You can see those, those the, the changes in the uh, frequency as it's going up and down, but the overall pitch of the C that I'm hearing, it, uh, that I'm playing, is still the same. It doesn't matter what the, the sync does, you can still hear I'm playing a C, or a, a D, or an F. So you still know that it's a, that the root note is being played, it just gets that different timbre. So let's figure out how we can make that Tame Impala sync sound for this patch. Okay, we're gonna start again with a new init patch. So we'll go into our knit category, make sure that we have a fresh patch. And we start off with a sawtooth. So we're gonna change that to a square wave. That's basically all we're gonna use is a single oscillator square wave. There are some changes that we're going to make to the overall uh, part one. So we'll go in here and we are going to make this a monophonic patch. That way you can't play chords. So that's, that's just makes it easier for how we're actually gonna play this sound. Uh, let's go into the actual editing of the annex part itself. So what do we have in here? We have a, a pitch. So let's bring in that sync sound. That's about where it is in the song, but we're gonna add a little bit of motion to it. And the way we're gonna do that is go over into the envelope generator and we're going to give it some decay and then we'll bring up the sync. So this basically tells the envelope, the, the oscillator that the sync is going to change by this envelope amount. So now we'll have to go back to the oscillator and lower the sync down to compensate back to the envelope generator. Actually, let's bring the sustain up and a little bit of release and more dec decay. All right, we did bring the, the uh, release here, but we're not hearing it. And the reason is because in our amplitude, we have no release. So we want to add some release. We want to keep the amplitude envelope long enough the release open long enough that we actually hear that sync envelope happen. That's about right. All right, so now if you listen to the song, it's actually different. That's very static. Every key sounds the same. And in the song, it's not that way. Every other note, it opens up a lot more. So what we want to do is somehow connect maybe key velocity to the amount of sync pitch that opens up. So to do that, we'll bring this page up over here 
And if we look on the screen, we can see that we have, right here we have sync pitch, but next to it we have sync pitch velocity, which connects the velocity of the key bed press to the sync. So if we open that up, the harder I press the key or the faster, the farther that sync pitch changes. So let's bring that down a bit overall. And then we can bring the envelope up a bit or the velocity. So now we can play it like it is in the song just by hitting the keys at different velocities. I think we might even bring a little bit more in there. All right, now we, we have the basic sound and we know how we're gonna be able to play it in an expressive way like they do in the song, but it's lacking something. The first thing we, we are lacking is some drive. Now I do wanna use the effects in here and we have two insert effects on this part that I wanna use. One of those is a distortion or drive, but I actually wanna use two other effects in here. So because we're not using the filter at all, let's bring the filter up and I'll bring it up on the screen. And you can see one of the filter Thing, uh, parameters we have is filter drive. So let's bring up filter one drive. So because we're not using the filter for anything else, we can just use its drive parameter. And you could do that even if we were using the filter one, we could still use the drive parameter on filter two. We could use both of them here if we want to. Get a real aggressive sound. Although I think it's a little bit much with both. So let's try just one. All right, that sounds good. So let's go back to the effects. The first thing I want to add is a chorus. So let's go into a chorus and let's see what we have here. Oh, that's good. Actually, I think even just the basic is good. Let's see how we can do it. And that's a full wet chorus. That sounds great. The last thing we want to add is on insert B, I would like to have some reverb because if you listen to Tame Impala, everything is soaked in massive reverb. So let's try, um, oh, what do you want to use? How about, uh, SPX stage. And we can change. What I like to do for reverbs is listen to it fully wet because then that gives you a real sound of what the, the actual reverb is. So let's dampen the high end a bit. High. Oh. And then we can come back. I think that's good. I like what we've got there. All right, at this point, I go back to the original song and give it a listen to see how close it is. I think it is close, but I think I will change one thing, and that is the envelope on the, on, uh, the sync. I'm just going to change the decay and make it a little bit longer. <laughs> I think maybe a little bit less on the overall sync pitch. If we give that a listen. And 
I think that's really close to the synth sound used in Is It True by Tame Impala. Let's save that. And while we're at it, let's change the category for this. So we want common. It's gonna be a synth lead and analog. I think that's a good category. So we will store that. Like I said, this is not just the Montage M that you can do this on. I could have done this on my Hydra synth. We could do it even on the System 8 or the Summit. They all have this oscillator sync capability. In order to do the Tame Impala sound, you have to have a square wave, which most of these do, and you have to have oscillator sync, and that's really about it. I will put a copy of this patch that I created on the M7. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. So if you want to download it and load it into your Montage M, you can do so. Sorry, Modiax people, it's not going to work for you, but if you do have an analog or virtual analog synth, you can use that as well. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Below, and please click like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out when you do that. I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. I get so many kind comments from everyone. It's really nice to know that you guys think that what I'm doing is actually of some benefit to you. So I'm really glad that you follow along and, and choose to uh, watch my videos. Thanks for watching.